My name's Josie and this is my bus flow that I'm converting into my first ever home. In last week's episode I put up the ceiling and now I'm going to tackle the windows and the walls. The plan. The plan is to divide the bus into completely different spaces. One will be the cab area, two will be the bathroom, toilet and shower, three will be the kitchen slash sitting room, four the bedroom where the magic happens. <laughs> To separate these spaces, I'm going to reshape my windows in each area. Okay, so in the bathroom where the shower's going to go, I'm going to block out the whole of the window for privacy reasons. In the kitchen, I'm quite tall, I'm probably going to have quite tall countertops and I would like my window to match my countertop, so I'm planning to block out the bottom half of the window. In the sitting room, while I'm sitting on my sofa, I want views galore, so I'm going to leave the windows nice and big. In the bedroom, my mattress will take the bed up past where the bottom of the window currently is, so I plan to block out the bottom half of the window. And my chosen material for the walls is ply. Okay, enough planning. Let's get on and actually do this. I'm in the car. I've just been driving for an hour. I forgot about how tiring <laughs> waking up early is. Ah! But I gotta build this bloody bus! Otherwise, it's never gonna get done. <laughs> So I've just um, put up one wall, like it's secure, it's not going anywhere. It's kind of like a jigsaw, right, so this would be like a square window. I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be really hard to like try and get the perfect shape for the top, for the top bit of ply, and then I've just had a brainwave, is that the right word? Brainstorm. <laughs> a brainstorm of like a better way to make sure that they fit like perfectly like a puzzle. It's just unfortunate now that I've just drilled it to the wall, but I might test my brainwave theory. Brain, brain, I don't know what I'm saying. My test my theory on this one that isn't um, drilled in. Okay, so what I've just done is got the cut ply outside, took me a while, and then a fresh sheet of ply. And I put the cut on top of the fresh, and then I'm gonna draw an outline. And then hopefully, if I cut that, it would, sorry, I hate it when people come and then everyone can see me talking to myself. It's so cringe. If I cut that, um, then it should be like the perfect fit, I'm hoping. Like I feel like I literally spent all day trying to work out this puzzle. It still doesn't work. It doesn't quite align. Look, there's a little gap there. That's just really irritating. This one fits perfect. I don't know whether that's maybe Maybe I need to trim, maybe I need to trim like that off a little bit there. So it all slops down a bit. Over here fits fine, but that doesn't fit fine. See that? Uh. So I tried again and second time worked a charm. Today I've got my little brother here helping. Hi Jacob. Hello. And soon we have my walls up. Yeah. For the bedroom walls, I plan to do something a little different plywood, a staple, pan, scissors, wadding, and then soft carpet. Cozy. Cozy. It looks a right mess. Good job it's the back. Ugh. So bus windows have round corners, but I wanted square corners like a house. Once the walls were done, I decided to make a start at the framework around my bed. Winnie helped me with this one. Mm. 
Look at that face. Then I decided it was time to fit in my sofa. Uh, a quick recap for anybody that hasn't been with me since last summer. Last lockdown, I built a sofa for my bus away from my bus because I was in isolation at home. So I wasn't really sure of the measurements. I kind of ish guessed. It's all a bit dodgy because the sofa took me like a long time to make and I've been worried the whole time if it would ever fit in my bus. Well, it was judgment day. My handmade sofa was gonna move from my house to the bus. Ash came to help me. Luckily, he had a big car. Hmm, is it gonna fit in his car? Oh my god, just! Oh my god, I'm so pleased. Is that boot gonna close though? Oh! Yay! All the three pieces of the sofa. The back's in there, frame, middle, cushions. In that car. And room for me as well. Later that day at the bus. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that I built my frames for my toilet and shower as well. It made it a bit tricky to get the sofa in. <laughs> This Ash problem solving. Well, he's decided to change his mind. And he's coming in first, okay? He thinks that will help. He's gonna try. There's bloody box in the way. <laughs> I just need to put it through the back. Can it stand up now? No. Do you want me to come help you rather than film you? You do what you want. <laughs> Second attempt through the back. Huh? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna need to help you. It's just straight round, is it? So you have to. Oh yeah, it fits. Lovely. Big. Oh my god. Ah! The back's too big. That's so annoying. Ash, it wouldn't like... be too bad. You could just yeah, do, you could do that today you do? if you wanted to. What? You could do that today. I don't know, it's a bit of a job, but it's not as bad as it looks, you know? It's fabric though. Because it's, it's making it smaller, that's the main thing, isn't it? Making it smaller is a lot easier than making it bigger, isn't it? You know? Okay. You'd have to take the pins out here, um, but keep them in here, yeah, and then. Yeah. Just basically cut it down, cut it down, cut it down. Sorry, Ash. Moment of truth. Perfect fit, man. Perfect fit. Okay, so there are a few things I want to tell you, and the first thing is this little spot here is meant to be like that. Yes, you heard me right. I planned to have this gap. It's not some random gap. I have plans, and the plan is it's going to be my secret heli box space. I actually have no idea how I'm going to do it. Something fun to figure out later. The second thing I want to tell you is the reason why it was so important for me to fit my sofa at this stage was so I could map out the rest of the measurements for like the kitchen and everything else. So, let's carry on putting my sofa together, shall we? Oh my gosh. Look how perfect that is though. Your shoes on my sofa. Not on the hatch I was looking at. Actually, have you got They're your shoes on my They're on the <laughs> High maintenance Josie and her bus. So now the sofa's in, the walls are up, I can crack on with everything else. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bus up with Josie.